this Black Cat Cafe Racer. Uh, to, occasionally I go to some uh, motorcycle shops and just talk to the salesman uh, and let them explain a little bit some, about some of the models that I'm interested in. And if you have any questions or any comments of models you'd like for me to look at, let me know in the comments section. Today I'm at the Indian <laughs> shop in Boise, Idaho. here at uh, Boise Indian and I'm talking to Hunter. Hunter's going to explain a little bit about these FTRs because I don't know anything about them. Right on. Um, so the FTR is a really unique bike for the Indian brand. Um, Indian obviously is known for their cruiser bikes uh, and the Scout as well. Um, this bike is what's considered a naked sport bike. It is in the heavyweight segment so it does have the larger displacement engine. Um, I do love this bike because it reminds me of one of my favorite bikes, which is the Ducati Monster. Um, this bike utilizes a trellis frame, which is very similar to that bike. A liquid-cooled V-twin, very similar to that bike. Um, and the 2022 updates are great because it makes it a better street bike. Previous generations ran a 19-inch front wheel. On the 2022 model, they scaled it down to a 17-inch front wheel. The bars are a little bit more narrow, so it makes for a, a much better streetable machine. Are those different kind of tires too uh, on the on this 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 one here? Yes so on the 2019 model it had a dirt tracker styled tire whereas now on the sport model and the base models they have a street tire um, and then on the rally they've got the Pirelli knobby. What size tires does this rally have on it? So the rally runs a 19 inch front wheel I want to say it's 130 it's okay. Okay, so 120-70, and this will be probably 160. About 150. 150-70. So between the rally and the, and the and the base model, and besides the tires, or what else kind of difference you have? So if you'll take a look at the bars, the bars on the rally are a little bit taller, and that's going to make it easier to stand up and ride when you are off-road. Okay. Another thing... They run spoked wheels on the rally versus the cast wheel on the street bike. Spoked wheels can handle more punishment for off-road use. And the 19-inch front wheel on the rally gives you a better capability of overcoming obstacles like logs and rocks and stuff like that. Is there any differences in, in electronics? So between the base model and the rally, no. But if you were to get to an S or a carbon model, the S and the carbon model will forego the scout dash same same dash you get on a scout uh, and it'll give you a touch screen that has a tft display so it's like having a smartphone right here um, also with those models you get the rider modes you get the bluetooth connectivity um, and you get the ride command when you've been selling these bikes what kind of accessories are people buying for these bikes I'd have to say the most common accessory, if you're going to go with a base model or a rally, is I do see a lot of the Akrapovich slip-on. Uh, there's also an S&S &S, uh, exhaust that sounds really good. Um, another thing I do see a lot of is I see that there's a rack here for the tail section. Uh -huh. That's nice because typically on these naked sport bikes, you don't get a lot of storage options. And for the guy or gal that's going to take this thing off-road or maybe go out camping for a day or so, it's nice to have a bed roll. It's nice to have a, a backpack strapped to the bike. That way it's not on your back and you have something for when you need to stop somewhere. For the cruisers, but they do offer different seats for the FTR. A huge one that I've also seen, this just came to mind, is I see a lot of people deleting this. Um, this is pretty heavy duty. I mean, this is, this is steel tubular. This is not plastic. That's pretty, that's pretty hardcore. And a lot of riders don't like having that mud flap down there. I think it looks cool, but you know everybody's different. So I see this gone, and they add a t uh, license plate tail tidy here. But I've sold FTRs to all groups. I've I've sold this bike to 19-year-old riders. I've sold this bike to 55-year-old riders. Um, and it all really just boils down to what kind of rider are you? Because yeah, there's gray-haired, long-haired dudes that are out there on CBR 1000s doing track days. I'd like to mention, there's no hair dudes out there doing that too. Yeah. You know, it, it all just boils down to who you are as a rider, you know, um, and that's kind of what makes this industry so cool is what, what, what do you like to ride? I'd like to see one of these out at the drag strip sometime because uh, I think they do pretty well, actually. 
I, I don't see any reason why not. Uh, they're about, what, a little over 100 horsepower? 120 is what they're rated. Wow, that's uh, pretty good. Most manufacturers rate it from the crank. So when you get it on the ground, it's probably going to perform like a 600cc inline four yeah. with a lot more torque. Yeah, I'd, I'd suspect it still to have 110 at least. You I, know, I would imagine so. So 110 in these bikes typically don't weigh what? Do, oh, they weigh, do they weigh 500 pounds? Just shy of it, and that's wet. I don't learn dry weights because you're not going to ride right, a bike right. without gas or oil in right. it. So. Yeah. So, folks, the FTRs, to me, is one of the most interesting of the Indian models. And you ought to get yourself down here to Boise Tribe and talk to Hunter. Yeah. I wanted to thank Hunter and uh, Boise of, of Indian for letting me come in here. If somebody wants to uh, buy a bike, Hunter, they should come see you. And oh, well, they could come in, check out all the inventory we've got. Uh, we, we're open to test rides. You know, as long as you have your endorsement, you uh, are willing to wear a helmet. Uh, we're more than happy to put you out on these bikes. Uh, it makes our job of selling it a lot easier once you take it for a spin. If there are any brands or models you want me to go visit, let me know in the comments section. Thank you. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.